<clears throat> All right, greetings, everybody. This is the one and only resident of 164 land with a green light unboxing video. Today we have the ad cars, uh, vintage, ad, vintage ad cars, series seven. I got this and all of my sealed green light cases come from 3000 toys because it's real easy to pre-order them. You don't get a charge right away. And then all of a sudden you'll see a charge on your credit card and a whole bunch of boxes show up. So I, uh, I enjoy that. It's uh, really convenient and, um, Anyway, I'm not sponsored by them, but this is who I get most of my green lights from. All right, I get sealed cases because I enjoy the thrill of possibly pulling a chase. And at the same time, I the uh, inconvenience of pulling a chase means that I have to then buy the regular since I'm not a chase collector. I can't explain it. Maybe if one of you can explain the, uh, the mental imbalance there. Uh, but anyway, let's uh, let's get to it. All right. So this is vintage ad series seven. So first off is this uh, got the '64 Ford Thunderbird. There's a hard top, but because this also comes in a uh, convertible, the hard top is the plastic canopy. So it's really I'm not too keen on when they do this, but you know that's makes it more cost efficient because you can get um, two variations out of one tooling. So. This one looks pretty nice. All right, nice red. You see the obviously the vintage ad right there showing the car. And um, yeah, okay. So next up. Is the Cadillac. All right, so we got the 72 Sedan DeVille. Um, I've mentioned before, I really like these new Cadillac castings. They are crisp. They are very large and they have appropriately sized tires, which is really important. I always um, stress that Greenlight sometimes uses those steamroller tires and it really just ruins nice castings. The uh, the Monte Carlo casting comes to mind, the 70, right? The 71 or the 72 Monte Carlo comes to mind. And, uh, but anyway, this this one is uh, is really sharp here. It's got the, the vinyl top, the, the nice blue paint work. And um, overall, I like this one. So cool, that's a keeper. All right, next up we have the Datsun. This one's neat. It's got a roof rack on top and it's the coupe, right? Datsun 510 with uh, the coupe there, ski rack. Um, I think that's a new accessory for this. So yeah, pretty nice, nice blue color. And um, yeah, there's not really no much to say about that one. So, all right, let's see what's next. Oh, this one's cool. So the 92 Ford F-150 with the night edition. I remember when these were new, they were very sharp. It says night in this little uh, uh, wispy font and uh, has the, the gradient stripe down the side. So pretty cool. Black bumpers, front and rear. This one does not have a tow hook. Which is which is actually uh, preferable because sometimes even though as much as I uh, enjoy the tow hook and being able to hook up to different trailers, sometimes it um, eh, it takes away from it. So cool. All right, excellent. Next up is the oh here we go. See now I have to buy this uh, regular one because uh, it's a green machine and the Impala Sport Coupe is a is a Pretty great crafting. Now I just talked about the Thunderbird and how I really don't like when they do the plastic top so they can have convertibles and coupes, but sometimes I don't mind it, right? So the 63 Impala, it's a newer casting here. And this one has the plastic top because it comes in a uh, convertible as well. So not too bad. All right, pretty cool. So, okay, on to the next one. And the last one, here we go. So again, 73 Chevelle Laguna, ooh, colonnade hardtop. So as I mentioned before in each of the last two videos that showed this car, the this is a, an okay casting. It's a new casting, but the, see the front clip there? It's so they can do different years. So this one's a 73. I have a 75 here, and you can see, if you can see that there, it's definitely different grills and whatnot and they do that the the um detachable 
the front piece there allows them to interchange between the years amongst this generation. And actually, so this is cool because the taillights are different too, but because they're cast into the body, that's, oh, you can't really see that, but uh, we got, that's pretty, uh, pretty neat. So I'm a sucker for green cars and um, I'm gonna keep this one. Tires are appropriately sized, got nice uh, pronounced fenders there. So that's a keeper. So anyway, so that is uh, Vintage Ad Series 7. I'm gonna do a blog post on the Lambin Group for this and uh, take some pictures of these cars. So that way, if you don't wanna hear me talking, you can just look at the pictures and read the words. Although I can guarantee you that when you read my post, you are your brain is going to um, read it in my voice. So enjoy that. Have a great day.